Hey everyone, I'm a small lizard and we continue our PNC journey by looking at a very fundamental technique of counting cases. So I'm actually going to list down the cases, sometimes even the exact combinations to get the answer. And as you can probably imagine, this method is rather brute force, right? Because we are literally going to like list down, all right? So let's say for part A, all right, let's say we have A, B, C, then B, C, A, then C, B, A, and so on and so forth. And you can probably imagine how complicated and sometimes impractical this method is going to be if we were to, let's say, go into arrange A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then try to do it so on and so forth. All right, that would really be very difficult. But nonetheless, all right, this idea or rather this technique of counting cases is actually still very important. And I'm going to list down two reasons you might want to use it. As long as it satisfies either, it should be used. The first idea is, or rather the first reason is very simple to list. All right, let's say if it's just three items, then obviously then it could be very simple, right? Let's say one, two, three, one, three, two, and then from here, you know, you just need times three. All right, because you just replace one with two, and then you have one, three, three, one, three, one, two, two, one. All right, and that is, you know, the simplest it can get, or as simple as it can get. The other reason to use counting cases is to not really list down the exact combination, but rather to categorize or classify the different um, possibilities. All right, go categorize or classify so that it helps you simplify your analysis. And this would actually come into play, let's say, for part C, as you're going to see later on. All right, so when you categorize and classify the general cases, it would actually help you to, to really count things faster. And of course, this might sometimes include future techniques, which will, well, as you can probably tell from the word future, in the later videos, all right? So the idea of counting cases is to really categorize and classify to simplify your analysis by considering general cases. All right, and you'll see that later on, okay? But in the meantime, let's start with part A. All right, let me use a different color. There are one red, one blue, one yellow, one green card. How many different ways can three cards be chosen? All right, so we have four different colors, we only want three of them. So that's one way to look at it. So let's say we start off with red. All right, then we notice we can get red, blue, yellow, red, yellow, green, red, blue, green. All right, as simple as that. Is there another way to do it? No. So we first consider red, now let's consider blue. Now we notice that if you go blue, red, yellow, blue, red, green, you notice that, hey, we've already got them, all right? Because we don't care about the order of the cards being chosen, we just want to find how many ways we can get three cards, we can ignore red, blue, yellow, red, blue, green, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, green, because that will be double counting. So we just need to make sure we count one so we can forget about blue and red. How about blue and yellow? All right, we've really considered blue, yellow, red over here. So blue, yellow, green, all right? That one we haven't considered yet. Are there any other things? Let's say we try to consider yellow. You notice that, hey, we've already considered yellow already, all right? Red, green, blue, blue, red, blue, green, all right? So yellow is double, is already counted, so we can forget about that. Same thing for green is already counted, so we can forget about that. All right, so from here, we know that we can get four cases. Now, as you have seen, all right, the problem with counting cases is sometimes we need to be aware whether are we double counting or sometimes triple counting and so on and so forth. All right, so one thing to take note is double counting. Another one to take note is, have we considered all general cases? All right, sometimes this is the common trap that many people fall into, is the failure to consider all relevant general cases. Or sometimes, even if they did, they might have actually double counted by including even more cases and yeah 
that's the reason why it's not PNC can be difficult because of this counting cases part where that's the only method and people forget or added extra general uh, cases and end up double counting or sometimes even under counting so, but let's move on part b there are two red cards two blue cards and one yellow cards now one yellow card now how many different ways can four cards be chosen all right so now there are five cards to pick four from so one way to do so is you know we can list out one by one all right another way to do it is what i'm gonna show you by what i mean by categorizing and classifying to simplify your analysis okay since you're gonna have one card left or you can either see as all right is either i use that one yellow card or we use or we don't use that one yellow card okay so that's one way to do it all right we either have one yellow or zero yellow at all all right so if there's one yellow card then you know then it must be well we have four cards left two red two blue to pick three cards now all right since we really could have one yellow card it could either be red red blue or blue blue red again the order doesn't matter now if we have zero yellow cards in the pile of four then of course you're only left with one case of red red blue blue all right so for a total of three cases all right so this is how we can simplify your analysis by categorizing how many yellow cards we can have in the pack of four of course we can also take it from two blue cards one blue card and zero blue cards now from here obviously you know that you cannot possibly not have any blue cards because if there are zero blue cards then we only have two red cards and one yellow card a total of three cards to pick four from and that is definitely impossible all right so from here we can forget about zero blue cards same thing if we want to consider two blue cards it is blue blue red red or blue blue red yellow and likewise you just only one blue card then it's blue red red yellow and that's about it and there's nothing else already okay so total of three cases wherever you consider whether one yellow two blue or two red then it's still three cases now a bit challenging three red cards three blue cards three yellow cards how many different ways can three cards be chosen all right so from here you might think that hey now this is a bit tricky right but one simple way is since you have all the same number of cards right three each and you can kind of see it as okay there's a possibility that all three cards are the same two are the same color one same color so of course in that case there's only one red blue yellow all right so that is how we can just split the analysis or categorize the uh, the cases like this all right so three same color obviously there's only three ways right red 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 blue 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 yellow yellow, yellow. simple two same color then it's a bit tricky all right and this is how we can actually do it let's just consider red all right two red we get either blue or red red yellow we then realize that hey there are three possible colors to take red red blue blue or yellow yellow all right so that's how we can actually simplify it all right so we have red red we can have blue blue and then yellow yellow and each color each pair of co each color we'll then have two cases right for the kind of red red is blue and then yellow for blue blue be green or rather be uh red and yellow and then yellow yellow is blue and then red so it's very simple here is simply three times two okay and then of course lastly if there's only one color each then it's red blue yellow only for a total of one case so in in total we have three plus three times two plus one three plus six plus one ten all right so this is how we can actually categorize and classify the number of cases and even even make it even simpler doing simplify our analysis even further with such an idea in part c where you know that if it's red red blue yellow then it's two cases for a pair of reds and of course there are three colors that can form a pair red red blue blue yellow yellow so three times two equals to six all right so yeah this is the counting cases example and also an introduction to counting cases all right in the next video we'll be looking at how we can solve part a even faster see you guys around